उत्तरदायित्व निभाने धर्म र संस्कृति र संरक्षण गर्ने कल्याणकारी सूचना निशुल्क प्रसारण गर्ने जनसेवा प्रसारणको अवधारणा अनुसार टेलिभिजन स्टेसन सञ्चालन हुँदैछ युथ टिभी कमिङ सुन Namaste. My name is Chirag Bangal. I'm an artist, a writer, and a radio presenter for Image FM 97.9. And I'm summoned here for a very wonderful endeavor. I'm here to talk to a wonderful poet, a writer, an educator, a social worker, and a philosopher in his own rights, Mr. D.B. Guru. Uh, how are you, D.B. Day? Thank you. Uh, fine, yeah. yeah, Mr. D.B. Guru. Um, the first time I got acquainted with you, your name, uh, would be when I read in the papers that you, uh, you won yourself this award called the Golden Pot Award by the United States of America. That's right. Long that was 1990? 1990. Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, uh, actually I can be the right from Nepal itself. It was an international poetry contest. So I just put my hand there and eventually I came up with the Golden Pot Award. So it was a huge competition, some about 50 million poets. Where were you in, in Nepal? In the way? United States. You were in, in Merrill, right? Okay. So after winning the award, I was invited there, and yeah, that's a great experience, a great time. Mm -hmm. But then you moved on to prose. How important is it uh, for a poet also to write prose? Is it, is it important? I started my writing career uh, with the poetry, you know, like uh, especially when my kindergarten days, as probably started with. The English in an English ambience with nursery rhymes like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, mm -hmm. Home the Broad and Woody Tate and all the stuff, you know. So, so well, of course, my native tongue is Nepali. Mm -hmm. I very much feel confident and more kind of, you know, uh, engrossed or working in English. Mm -hmm. So I've taken up this language as a medium of communication as well as my profession and my creative endeavors. So, uh, well, that's it. Mm -hmm. So I started with poetry, but well, that's the difference between poetry and prose. Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, poetry, we do it in a very, uh, very tight part. You have got a very, you have a lot of restraints there, you know, economy, words as well. Mm -hmm. But in prose, uh, you have a larger space, you can move around. Mm -hmm. But eventually, it's something like spilling the beans. Mm -hmm. So it's like for poetry, you go concisely, probably more succinctly. Mm -hmm. But in prose, you're more leisure, more free, and more independent. That's it. Do you think that poetry is uh, not taken too seriously? I mean, it's. I hear it's um, easier to sell a book of short stories than selling a book of uh, a poems. But there are many, po I mean, literature lyrics. I mean, the lyrics, poet lyrics, they have been renowned all over the world. Uh -huh. But I think, uh, you know, the, the importance and the popularity of poetry is dwindling. That's because of the dynamic situations, you know, like, uh, oh, well, it's the ease of computer after all, and, you know, like, uh, NAT and internet and all. So there are more informa information based, the people, you know, they want to be, and they go for the information rather than going through a very um, profound work. Mm -hmm. But I think we got a huge audience of po a poetry as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, your poetry is not something that you find on an everyday basis and, um, you know, read. I feel uh, it's more than just, your writing is more than just spontaneous. I mean, you try to have a lot of intellectual content in your poetry. Especially in terms of working out with the poetry. Um, well, many people consider like a poet has this spontaneous. But I don't believe I'm against this kind of uh, statement. So when you do a poetry, you do a lot of hard work. For instance, let's say the title poem is work, sleep work. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, 12 pages. Poetry, and I put the energy, the mind, to act of probably three or four novels. It really took more than seven years to complete it. And especially the one you have, the editor inside you have to, to placate him, mm -hmm. you know. Like it's not just simply writing and pinning off, scrolling up a poetry, and that's not a poetry. I do a lot of rewriting, and it needs a lot of time, you know, devotion, you know, like probably a lot of intellect as well. So when you talk about poetry, like uh, I, I, I just feel like to say, uh, an artist is a very lonely being. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's why in a family, uh, well, 
Of course, an artist has to do a lot of works, has to do a lot of readings, a lot of you know observations and all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in the sense, my case, especially in my case, if I have to really tell, I mean, it's still out today. I think uh, it's something like exploring the inner landscape of your heart, the unconscious landscape of your heart, your, your mind, your spirit, I should say. Well, everyone, every individual has something to say. They want to express, but everyone can be an artist. Everyone, write po everyone can't write poetry. So kind of devotion, dedication, enthusiasm, of course. And that will make you what you are today. Uh, I think, uh, well, it's something like exploring the unexplored, uncharted region of your heart. Mm -hmm. And you want to express it. And I try to make my endeavors through writings. So that's what I do, you know. There are so many casual things, existential things. You want to share with a shopkeeper, with the colleagues, you know, with your professional, like your, 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 your teachers. But there are other things that you can't share with everything, even with your wife, your beloved or loved ones. So in that case, the best bet is poetry, creative endeavor. So you do that way. So I think uh, it's a very personal stuff and you want to share with the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how I take my kind of profession as a writer, you know. Let's talk about the language, Mr. Guru. Okay. The, you choose English as, as your language to express right. or vent out your, your feelings, if I may. Why English? Well, I think uh, there are certain things you can express better in your own native tongue. Mm -hmm. But there are other, again, important things you can express better from an adapted language. Mm -hmm. So I feel, as I told you before, uh, I feel more confident. Uh, I feel more easygoing, you know, expressing in this language. Now, let's talk about your travels. You were in America for a very long time. And you've been traveling quite a bit. Has this somehow influenced your writing? Well, as I said, uh, I was probably since my childhood. Uh, intrinsically, I was very artistic. I started my creative journey with paintings, in fact. Paintings? Yes, exactly. So I used to do a lot of sketching with my, you know, my copies in the kindergarten. And I used to get a lot of uh, reprimands, scoldings too, from my teachers. So that was the beginning of a creative journey. So with the passage of time, you know, like I became more acquainted with the language. So I started jotting down my feelings in words. So, more precisely, if I have to tell about why I switch from painting to writing, it's like uh, that's, that's an event. Like, uh, like my father, as I told you, he was my favorite kind of listener. He was a storyteller and he used to tell a lot of old stories. One day I made a kind of, and I stretched up and, you know, do some, some, some colorings. And I showed it up to him and he told me, what is this? He couldn't understand it. But now I realize, you know, I realize it was more an expressionist sort of, more psychedelic sort of work. I did it. And my poor veteran father couldn't understand it, apprehend it. So I was kind of partially disheartened. So, okay, like he's the, he's the first person I want to get a praise and praise from, plaudits from, and he was not uh, inspir inspiring my work. So I was kind of disheartened. And eventually I tried my hand in Portugal. In my house, of course, we had, we had a lot of posts like Sally, John Keats, William Wordsworth, and my father's favorites and all this stuff. So I was very much used to it. So that way I feel more convenient uh, picking up English. Uh, well, in the meantime, it's an international language, Franca. Uh -huh. That's it.
जनसेवा प्रसारण को अवधारण अनुसार टेलीविजन स्टेशन संचालन होते हैं। युद्ध टीवी कमिंग सुन। What I want to talk about now is this big volume of essays that you edited and was a big hit, Nepal, uh, Nepal Tomorrow, Voices and Visions, right. where you sort of uh, got involved, the cream de la cream Nepal, um, you know, whether we talk about the arts, um, all sorts of things. T tell us about this book, it was, it was okay. a big hit. Literature is such a thing like art is the people. They, it tend to take a longer time to understand it, but in prose, especially in social science, you just can hit the bullseye right away. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to hit the target. So I thought of, well, being a citizen, why not contribute something intellectual? So I took up this process single-handedly. And so it's it was, it's huge. Yeah, it is, it is. And it took more than two and a half hours, uh, two, two years to complete this. There was no editor. I was the editor, I was the collector, and it was a painstaking job. It oh. was very magical. Can you talk of the people involved? We had these giants, right? I mean, oh, we had my grand yeah. gra uncle, Lin Singh Bangdel, and yeah. uh, you had a lot of... Now, Dr. Hargi Guru is no more with mm -hmm. among us. There are, there, are, there are many contributors. I have never seen them before. Mm -hmm. Till now, I haven't seen them. Well, but I post them. Well, I call for the papers and they earnestly, I don't know, thinking about what, and they've never known about me. I just, they just probably knew me. I was a novelist. I, I, I just published me a novel. So they helped me uh, contribute their works. Mm -hmm. So eventually, the culmination is this huge volume. Mm -hmm. So it was, as you, as you said, it's a very difficult thing to switch from artistic uh, kind of force into a social science. To switching is, switching is a very difficult job. But I think like, uh, you can do it. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you really want to do something, you can, you can make it. You can make a difference. So I how, how does it work for you? I mean, you know, you, you are also an educator, we'll be talking about that again. How do you make these transitions? Because uh, you have your poetry on one hand and you yes. have your own essays again. Right. What, what, do you, what triggers your, uh, your creativity, if I may? We have got a two section of readers here. So I, 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 I really wanted to go for a larger section. That's really working on this huge volume. Mm -hmm. So people need that. So I want to, congr I want to put, pull together all the ideas from different expertise. Like as you said, the Langs and Bangal. He's a good writer, a good artist. And I must say, uh, I was probably fortunate, like uh, before he passed away, I just, I met him two months ago. So he was ailing kind of, I visited his place, and uh, he was very excited. Well, that's a very good effort. And with his long hand, he made some corrections right in front of me. That's very memorable. Mm -hmm. I can never forget that. Mm -hmm. So I had his paper and, well. Handwritten. Handwritten, some of type types, and that was an old manual typewriter, you uh -huh. know. And the other stuff, like he, he wanted to do something, he was very conscious. He was going to make some contribution, and the right person was there, the editor. No, he was uh, very, very hardworking. I mean, and, I, I remember the day he passed away, and I, I went up to the studio, and I mean, he had a lot of fresh canvas, you know, uh -huh. canvas where he was painting, and the room was smelling of paint. He was working till, till the last day. So he was genius. Yeah. We've, we've, we've talked about your, your poetry for a long time now. I think it's, it's time we let our audience hear your poems, if they haven't already. Can we read, can we hear some of your poems? Sure, sure. Uh, I'm invisible, like those fingerprints hidden underneath, like the layers of dust of a deserted house of a ruined city. I'm the slap in this cry of a newly born baby. I'm all the nervousness of a bride anticipating a groom the first night and also a mom at orgasm. I'm the pain and despondency of a helpless slave about to be lynched with the onset of the beginning. I know I'm the frustration and melancholy of an aging man. I'm also the memoir of a fallen leaf and the unwritten theme of a poetry. I'm the memory of that cookery welded at the bloody front of Burma and also the sad tidings to a young widow whose soldier husband is dead. True, I'm a particle of history. 
I'm also the silence of deep dusky Himalayan wood, and also the thunderous bark of a stranded musk deer. Believe me, I'm also the instinct of that salmon heading upstream. I'm the secret of a sawing leaves, and also the wings of the winds, and the riddle of midnight, and also the mystery of the sun dancing in the curtains. I have known so many things, and I'm all those things, but I'm nobody. I'm in fact nothing. I'm just a ripple of a pond. I think, you know, with this poem, uh, we get to see that um, you started off as a, as a painter because, you know, all these, all these things you mentioned, all these elements, they are very, very vivid. They're almost like, each one of them, each yeah. line of them, they almost represent a painting, you know? Like s the salmon climbing upstream. That's beautiful. Who would have thought of that, you know? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's more uh, descriptive, you know, like, uh, it's, it's, it's best a metaphor, but I a lot, I a lot describing things and, you know, so... So I've got a very poor kind of readership. I actually, I must confess that. So very few people understand. I want to understand it. Samajik uttar daitu ni bhavni. Dharma na sanskrit na samrak chindar. कल्याणकारी सूचना निःशुल्क प्रसारण करें जनसेवा प्रसारण को अवधारण अनुसार टेलीविजन स्टेशन संचालन होते हैं युद्ध टीवी कमिंग सू जनसेवा प्रसारण को अवधारण अनुसार टेलीविजन स्टेशन संचालन होते हैं। युद्ध टीवी कमिंग सू। could give us something else now something sure something maybe that contradicts your writing okay. or I don't know something that we would all enjoy mm. midnight silence has its own soothing voice it can pull 100 memories quietitude and solitude are two integrate formulas while tackling the equation of time the moon, my thumb nail sized leisurely, pulls the boundless heaven, ringing the night. The stars clap with the twinkling hands. The current hums its electric tune along the wires, scratching, stretching from post to post above the road. A tall minor tree imprisons the fall deep in its spark. All the miserably naked now. The winds and careless whisper sweep through the bowels of the night. Is a piece of half oblivion, and the other half carries the sounds of the footfalls echoing your name, shattering the silence of the veranda. The Virgin Villa petals, all in a chorus, chant the same, rolling it out in the dark eternal heaven. Another return of a numbing twinge in the heart, 
as though perforated by a dozen arrows all at a time. My moments are wedded to the anarchy of night. Thank you. Great. Mr. Gurung, let's quickly talk about um, your, your book that, that uh, you're, the, you're working on at the moment. It's on the final stages, uh, Breaking Twilight, you call it. Yes, yes. And uh, there's a big chance that it might be published abroad. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about the book. It's a novel. I, I'm almost through with that, but like, uh, for once, so one, one, one writer said, like, uh, Lockhead, I think her name is. She said that, like, once you grow up, once you become mature, you know, you are you become more critical to your own writing, mm -hmm. you know, and when you look upon your work, what you've done yesterday, a day before yesterday, they become stale. So you have a huge tendency to rewrite them again. Mm -hmm. You find a lot of mistakes there. So I think I'm rewriting the whole stuff again. So I exactly can't tell you about this publication, but uh, I don't know whether it's going to come out from the West or from uh, subcontinent. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's a complete work. Right now I'm working on it. Uh, I spent more than two and a half years. So I'm thrilled with this. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later it's coming out anyway. Okay, and right. uh, I wish you Thank lots you. of luck on that. Uh, and besides this, what are your other interests, Mr. Gold? Uh, you have a school that you run? Yeah, I have a school and, you know, partially I begin my time and, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of, I'm tied up with so many things. I do my readings and every day and, of course, I do writings as well mm -hmm. because uh, you forget so many vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So you have to be updated all the time with yourself and, uh, and I've got other interests, social science as well, of course, politics are there. Mm -hmm. Some kind of busy life I have. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy with that. You've written for a very long time and uh, we'll quickly talk about this. Um, you know, you have the authority to answer this question. What do you think about the current literary scenario we have in the country? Well, when you talk about the Nepalese writing uh, in English, I probably can spell a few words. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about the genuine Nepalese writing in Nepali, I can't say a word. Mm -hmm. Because I haven't read so far mm -hmm. the Nepalese literature by a Nepalese author. So we have got some very promising writers like Manjur Thapa, Samrata Brothers there, Yersal was there. You know, those who are trying to do in English, uh, being a Nepali. And that's a great approach, and uh, that's, that's a great start. Mm -hmm. And I also did myself. I was probably the trailblazer, and because my novel is first published in 2000. Mm -hmm. and that's what, that was probably historic work. Mm -hmm. So things are looking up, but still we got to come up more uh, regardlessly, and uh, we have to put more times, and a lot of experimentation should be done to come up at the international level. So, well, that is, I can see the light in the horizon anyway, Chirazi. It's been a pleasure talking to you and congratulations on all your endeavors Thank and you I wish much. you lots of luck for things to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for being with us. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. I certainly did. I'm Chirag Bangal and until next time, bye-bye.